Hi, thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at the dashboard functionality within the SalesLogic's web client. Dashboards are to be found under the welcome area of SalesLogic's web and if as a user you are given access rights you can create and share as many dashboard tabs as you require. If you can't create your own tabs then it is usual for the administrator to create company standard dashboards and share them with the relevant users. Each dashboard contains predefined analytics in the form of charting and list widgets. By right clicking on one of the existing tabs we can see the options available. We can create new tabs, copy existing tabs, add content, manage our dashboard tabs by hiding, showing or deleting them. We can set some default edit options for each tab and we can share dashboard tabs with other SalesLogix users. Note also the help option which takes you straight to the dashboard help screens. Let's start by simply copying a tab, adding an additional funnel widget and removing other content. Bring up the Sales tab and then right click and select Copy. Give it a name, in this case Pipeline, and simply click OK. The new copied dashboard is now shown. Right click and select Add Content. Each of the content options are described and as we scroll down we want to add the Funnel Chart widget. We're now offered a box where we specify the settings for the ch Funnel Chart widget. Give it a name, in this case Sales Funnel and then select the entity you want to view data from, in this case Opportunity. We now select the group of data the widget will be built on, so remember you may need to create the group of data before working on a dashboard. We'll select All Open. The dimension is how the data is grouped, so we'll select Stage, and the metric is the measure of that data that is displayed. In this case, we'll select Count Opportunities. Select Yes to display the names of the dimension and specify if you would like to shorten or truncate the names. We'll select No. Click OK and notice the funnel build. Hover over each stage to see the count of opportunities in that stage. We can easily drag and drop, drop each widget around the screen. And we can refresh the data or edit the widget settings if we require. Widgets can also easily be removed from a dashboard by simply clicking the cross in the top right hand corner of the widget. You can also view the group the data is built upon by clicking View Group. You can now right click again on the tab title and set some options for the tab. For example you may want a larger column on the left. and maybe also to make this the default tab that opens when logging into SalesLogix. From the right click menu you can also hide dashboards you don't use or show ones you have hidden. If you have created the dashboard, you can also delete it. Finally, you can share your dashboard with everybody or selected others by selecting Share. To add individual users, click Add and choose the users you require. Click OK. Click OK again and the dashboard will be shared with those users. Adding a new tab of dashboard information is very straightforward. Simply right click on any tab and choose New Tab.
give the new dashboard tab a title, in this case support, and this simply creates a blank dashboard ready for you to add widgets to. You can now follow the process that was detailed already and add any number of widgets required to the dashboard and then share your dashboard. In this case we'll add a pie chart for all open tickets and display that pie chart by status. So as before we now go ahead and fill in the pie chart settings. We provide a title, select the entity we'd like to look up on, in this case tickets, choose our group, all open. The dimension will be status and the metric will be ticket count. We can add a caption if required. and also displaying a legend and decide the number of slices we'd like to see. We can display the names, i.e. the status names, and when we're ready we can click OK. Remember you can play around with each dashboard by editing until you're happy with the results. Well there we have it, the wonderful world of widgets in SalesLogix. Remember to read the help files and thanks for watching this C-Logic video.